Hello my yogis, welcome to Sunrise Yogi channel. My name is Sanya. This is rocket inspired vinyasa flow. We're going to start standing at the, in Tadasana at the front of your mat. So come to your Tadasana. Close your eyes here, move the shoulders down and back. Root down through your toes, through your feet. Lift up through the crown of your head. Draw the belly in, feel the strength through your legs coming up. Take a nice deep breath in and out through your nose. Now let's make your fists with your hands here, keeping your elbows straight, start making circles with your hands. Your eyes can be still closed if, that's as if that is comfortable to you. Just warming up the wrists a little bit. And then change direction of your circle. And release. Now lift your shoulders up by your ears, release them down. And start making circles with your shoulders, like just like this. Moving them forward, up and back. Warming up the upper back, warming up the chest, and change the direction of your circle. You can open your eyes gently here. Find the center. As you inhale, reach your hands up and over your head. And as you exhale, twist to your right side. So your hands are shoulder height, looking back. Hips are still facing forward. A little twist. Inhale, center, reach your hands up, exhale, twist to the other side and looking over to your, over your back shoulder. Inhale, reach up, exhale, release, Tadasana, back to center. And start your Ujjayi Pranayama, Ujjayi breathing for your practice. Keeping your body strong, drawing the belly in, engaging Mula Bandha. Now on your next inhale, reach your hands up, look up to where your thumbs as you exhale, hinge from the hips, come all the way down, relax your neck, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step your both feet back into plank position. Let's go down on our knees. Exhale slowly, come all the way down onto the floor. As you inhale, rise, lift your chest open. And exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees here, pedal the legs, do whatever your body wants to do in your first downward dog. Enjoying the sound of your dry breathing. Now find a steady position on your next inhale, look up towards your hands, exhale, bend the knees, lift your heels off the ground, prepare to step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale to fold. Inhale, come all the way up, look in your thumbs, exhale, center. And again, Surya Namaskara, inhale, look up, exhale to fold. Inhale halfway, exhale, step it back, plank, lower down through Chaturanga, on your knees or no knees, your choice, inhale, cobra open the chest, exhale, downward dog. Next inhale, look to the front. Exhale, bend your knees, lift your heels, and step or hop to the front. Inhale, halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale to fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, center. And again, third round. Inhale, 
Exhale to fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step it back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra over upper dog. Exhale, down dog. And the listening sound of your breathing. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, lift your heels, lift your hips, step or hop. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half wheel lift. Exhale to fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, reach up, look at your thumbs. Exhale, Tadasana. Surya Namaskara B, inhale, Utkatasana. Chair pose, exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, jump or hop back, Chaturanga Dadasana. Inhale, open the chest. And exhale, downward facing dog. Left heel into the ground, step your right foot forward. Inhale, Virabhadrasana, one, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, flow through your vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. Left leg steps forward. Inhale, warrior one on this side. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. Don't forget your jai breathing. Every time you exhale, engage your mula bandha. Inhale, look to the front, lift your hips, exhale, bend the knees, lift your heels, hop or step forward, inhale, halfway, exhale to fold, inhale, Utkatasana, exhale, Tadasana, second round, inhale, reach up, exhale to fold, Uttanasana, inhale, look up, exhale, hop back, Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upper dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot steps forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, hands down, step it back, vinyasa. Left foot steps forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, vinyasa. Down dog. Next inhale, look to the front, lift your hips, exhale, bend the knees, keep your heels high and step put or hop forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose, stay here. Interlace your fingers, place, face your palms to the ceiling and sit a little deeper. Look up. Draw the belly in, engage your Mula Bandha. Jai breathing. Transition, Ardha Utkatasana, point your hands to the front, your, your back is, is parallel to the floor. Sit a little deeper. Awesome, now exhale, bring your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, straighten your elbows, open the chest, come onto your toes, balance. Next exhale, release your hands down, Bakasana, first arm balance. So point your, place your uh, knees on your triceps or all the way up on your armpits, lean forward, lift the 
feet off the ground if you can and breathe your jai. Engage Mula Bandha. And prepare to jump or step back. Inhale, look up, exhale, shoot your legs back, exhale, Jatranga. Inhale, look up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Root your left heel down, step your right foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. And stay. Draw the left hip forward, right hip back. Look up, lift the chest, drop the shoulders back. Transitioning into warrior two, inhale, straighten the front leg, exhale, open the hips to the side. Maybe your stance can be a bit wider. Open your hands, look forward, warrior two. Find your joy. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Shorten the stance a little bit for Trikonasana. Inhale, extend. Exhale, Trikonasana. Look up towards the ceiling. Extend the spine. Lengthen. Open the chest. Breathe your jai. Now next exhale, look down, place your top hand onto your, onto your waist, onto your hips. Transitioning into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Engage your back leg. Maybe you can look up towards the ceiling, releasing your top hand all the way up. And breathe. Now from here we're going to transition to figure four. Now as you exhale, your both hands come to the floor, transitioning through your standing split, squaring your hips towards the front of your mat. As you inhale, bend your floating leg back and come all the way up to standing, reaching your left knee into your chest. Now place the left foot over your right knee for one legged like chair pose or figure four and sit back. Standing pigeon pose. Keep your hips level. Keep your left foot flexed. And see if you can lower all the way down. So you're placing your elbows onto, the, onto your shin. Awesome. Inhale. Coming all the way back up. Place your foot back behind you. Step it back for a reverse triangle pose. Paravrita Trikonasana. As you inhale, lift your left arm all the way up. Extend forward. And as you exhale, plant your hand all the way down, either to the inside or to the outside of the front foot. Both, both uh, feet are straight. And look up. Twist. Keep pushing your right hip back, finding the length in your right side waist. And look down as you exhale, inhale, come back to your warrior two stance now. Inhale, reverse the warrior just for transition. And as you exhale, Parsva Konasana, extended side angle. Reach your left hand away to the front. Stretching your whole side body here. Now let's go for the bind. Bring your top hand all the way back. Find the bind at the back of your spine. Inhale, look up, open the chest. Extend the elbows. Exhale. 
Now stay a bit more on the hips today. Look down as you exhale and then step your back foot to the front. Bird of paradise. Inhale, start lifting all the way up to standing. Bird of paradise. So maybe you can stay here. Find your Tadasana stance. Straight spine if you can. Lift your chest. And from here, see if you can extend your foot. Maybe all the way up, maybe not. <laughs> and exhale. Start lowering all the way down. Step the foot back in your Parsa Konasana. Release your hands. Inhale, find your warrior two. And exhale, turn to the center, to the front. High lunge. Exhale, hands in prayer over your heart. And let's twist to the right side from here. Looking up towards the ceiling. Breathe your Jai. Awesome. Inhale, cup to the center. Exhale, step it back. Vinyasa. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. And time for our first pinch. Let's do some strengthening instead of actual lifting. So lower down on your elbows for dolphin pose. Now keep your hips as high as you can. Come onto your toes. So lift your heels. Lift your heels as high as you can. Lift your hips. Feel how your belly engages. Then start shifting weight to the front body. Just here balancing on your toes and your feet. Moving forward and back. Feel your core working. And breathe. Now let go of your vagina. And then stop in your dolphin. Find comfortable position. Maybe you can walk your feet a little further down. Bring your heels down towards the floor and stay here. And then come down on your knees, balasana child's pose. Just a little rest here. Keep your jai still. We don't want to lose the heat in the body. Awesome. Okay, let's extend, extend our hands in front. Look up. As you inhale, find your all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, step your right foot forward. Left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one on this side. Move your right hip forward, left hip back. Come deep into your front knee. Look up, lift the chest. And breathe your jai. Engage your mula banda. Inhale, strengthen the front leg. Exhale, warrior two, open to the side. Come a little deeper into your front knee. Engage your mula banda, draw the belly in. Now inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Shorten the stance a little bit for Trikonasana. Inhale, extend, reach forward. Exhale, Trikonasana, look up. Exhale, lower down, transitioning into Ardha Chandrasana. Your hand comes onto your hip. Shift your weight forward. Lift your back leg. Float. Engage the core, engage the Mula Bandha, and extend your top arm all the way up towards the ceiling, and maybe you can look up. Great, let's transition to our old figure four. Exhale, draw your both hands down to the floor. Standing split square of your hips. 
to the front and as you inhale come up to standing bringing your back knee all the way up into your chest and let's do our one-legged chair pose or figure four or standing pigeon and sit back see how low can you go can you rest your elbows onto your shin keep your hips square and at the same level if you can draw the belly in keep your jai and inhale come all the way up exhale step it back Parivrita Trikonasana reverse triangle inhale reach your right arm all the way up extend forward and exhale Trikonasana twisting to your left side keep your spine extended straight chest open and move your left hip as back as you can great as exhale look all the way down inhale come back to your warrior two reverse the warrior for transition exhale parso konasana side angle stretching the whole right side of the body extending the right arm as far as you can to the front engage your mula bandha now let's find a bind on this side. Open the chest, look up. Now let's look down, transitioning to our bird of paradise, stepping your back foot forward. Inhale, come all the way up into Tadasana. Find your flat back, open the chest, and from here maybe you can extend your leg finding your balance and slowly let's go down into a parsakanasana inhale reverse your warrior exhale let's turn to the front into high lunge and find your twist to the left from here and breathe your jai Exhale, let's look down, step back, vinyasa. Exhale, down dog. Now let's do a little more strengthening. Inhale, come forward into plank. And from here, lower down at the elbows. And then straighten up into high plank. Again, lowering into forearm plank. Moving through high plank. And continue. Strong core, strong legs. Now let's do two more. And next time you're in high plank, exhale down dog and come down into your balasana. Short break here. Keep your jai. Then bring your hands to the front, look forward, inhale, all fours, exhale, down dog. Now from here, let's walk our hands back. Now when you're somewhere at the halfway, shift your weight forward and exhale, shoot your hands back. So trying to kind of making this move a little more strengthening. Now let's hold off your toes, yogi foot lock, inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, fold. Hasta Pada Bustasana. Open your elbows to the side. Relax your neck. Move your shoulders up away from the ears. Keep your jai. Engage your mula bandha on the exhale. Now inhale, find your flat back, 
exhale place your palms all the way down underneath your feet inhale halfway exhale fold opening the elbows to the side And then slowly inhale, release. And come all the way down, reaching your hands over your head. And come onto your toes for a little balance. And let's make steps to the front of the mat on your toes. Try to keep your balance. Then when you're at the top of your mat, keep your heels up a little more. And exhale, release your hands, release your heels. And then let's step for prasarita, open to the side, inhale, reach your hands up, exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back, open your chest, inhale, exhale to fold. Breathing into your shoulders, into your upper back, keep your jai. Then inhale to halfway lift, exhale, release your hands down. Now let's move our feet a little wider and try to lower down on your elbows for some kasana. Then shift your weight a little forward, just strengthening your belly, strengthening your upper body here and stay. Now inhale, come on to your hands, and from here we're going to sit down on our mat. So keeping your feet wide, now do a strengthening in the belly, working with Mula Bandha. So place your hands on your either side of your body, of your thigh. Now let's, we're going to move forward and lift the hips, checking Mula Bandha. Engage your belly, lift your hips as high as you can, and hold. And release, other side, same thing. Lift, lift, lift. And release. Now, turn to the front of your mat. Let's lean forward, cross your feet, and let's move through our vinyasa from here. Step back, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Now look forward, step or hop, inhale halfway, exhale to fold, inhale come all the way up and exhale center. Now let's do a little balance and arm balance from here. So we're going to back, come back to fig figure four. So we're going to start with balancing on the right foot. So bring your left knee into your chest, come back to your figure four. Sit as deep as you can, your elbows onto your shin. This should feel a little easier than first time as the hips are more open. Now from here we're going to plant our palms down onto the floor. Let's see if we can have your palms flat from here. If your palms cannot be flat on the floor, just stay here and balance forward and back. If you're going further, so plant, plant your palms. Activate your hasta bandha, go low with your hips. And now from here we're going to put our knee, our left knee and our left foot onto our triceps for support. And from there, start leaning forward with your chaturanga arms, shifting your weight into your hands. Now if you want, want to go further, we're going to transition into arm balance. So coming with your chaturanga arms, leaning forward look forward for balance and maybe you can lift your back foot off the floor and release great feel free to pause the video and try this a few times and then inhale reach up to center exhale release i'm going to do the same thing on the other side so root down through the left standing foot inhale right knee into the chest exhale figure four Go a little deeper, 
Find your balance here. Find your drishti. Find your ujjayi pranayama. Plant your hands down. It's probably not going to be the same on the both sides. So try your luck here. So plant your hands down. First, find the position on your shin. Find two supports and start shifting forward and back. And if you feel ready, you can try to go into arm balance, flying pigeon, and leaning forward into chaturanga arms and lifting your feet off the ground. And release. Awesome. Inhale, center. Exhale, shake your whole body. Awesome job. Inhale, vinyasa. Look at your thumbs. Extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now let's sit. Hop to the front. Extend your feet in front of you. Paschimottanasana. Flex your feet. Inhale, reach up. Flat back, open chest, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale one more time, lift your chest. Exhale, fold. Keep your jai. Awesome. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Hands behind you. Reverse. Inhale. Lift your hips. Lift your chest. Drop your head back. And breathe. And release. Hug your knees into your chest. Lean back for balance. And Vinyasa. Exhale down dog. Now let's hop, sit forward. Try one more arm balance from here. Ashtavakrasana. So take a hold of your right knee. We opened the hips quite a bit today. So hug your shin and just rock it from side to side. I'm going to turn to the front. You're going to see me better. Okay, so let's plant, place our foot around our shoulder like you want to wear a backpack. Now, first hug your shin around your foot or around your hand so it's not sliding down. So make it strong. Lean forward, lift your hips. So this is the elephant trunk, this is phase one. And then cross your shins. Phase two, come forward into Chaturanga, shoot your feet back to the side, phase three, and slowly come back. Okay, release. Let's do the other side. So bend your left knee, hug your shin, and rock from side to side to open the hip a little bit. So feel free to pause the video and try this a few times. And then step in the center. Place your foot around your shoulder, squeeze the shin, now hands to the front, palms down, lean forward, lift, strong core, cross the shins, lean forward into chaturanga arms, and shoot the legs to the side, and inhale slowly, come to the center, shake it out, let's go through vinyasa, lean back, cross the shins, Come forward into Chaturanga, inhale, upper dog, exhale, down dog, inhale through your nose, exhale it out through the mouth, and continue Jai. Now look forward, upper step, and sit onto your mat. Let's do a little back bend from here. Now first Navasana, threaten the core. Find your position with your knees bent or your legs straight. Lean back, lift the chest. Up. 
Ardha Uttanasana, Ardha Navasana. Hollow body. And release down. Place your hands underneath your underneath your hips. We're going to do some leg lifts from here. So lift your feet up 90 degrees and release them down a few inches of the floor. Continue, inhale, lift the legs. Exhale, drop them low. Working through your core. Engage the Mula Bandha. Last one. Lift your legs halfway. Come back to your Navasana. Lean backwards for balance. And let's go through Vinyasa. Hop back into Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, come to forward, forward into plank. Exhale, lower down on your belly. Let's do some back bends from here. So place your hands behind you, palms are facing down. As you inhale, lift everything up. Shalabhasana. Exhale, release down. Stack your palms, rest your head onto your palms and shake your hips from side to side. Okay, let's place our hands back, bend the knees, take a hold of your ankles. Your knees are hip width apart. Look down as you inhale, lift your chest, lift your knees, and push your feet back behind you to open chest a little further. Keep your jaw. And release. Now place your hands underneath your shoulders. Find your down dog, neutralize the spine here. Lengthen, lift your hips. Now step or hop forward and sit back onto your mat for a finishing series. Let's come all the way down to the floor, lay on your back. And let's do to our halasana. Move your feet over your head. Just use this to really take your shoulders up. Like you want to join your shoulder blades on your back. Interlace your fingers. Lift your hips high. And then from there, hands onto your lower back. Lift your feet. Sarvangasana. Shoulder stand. Breathe Ujjayi. So drishti, drishti is on your toes, or if you want to keep your eyes closed, put your attention onto your third eye. Place between your eyebrows. Drop your knees onto your forehead and stay here or you can put your knees on your ears for Karnapidasana. Your hands can be on your mat now. From there, start lowering your hips down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Your feet will come last. Keep your legs straight and slowly release them down to the floor. Let's do counter pose, fish pose. Plant your hands underneath your sitting bones. Draw the elbows in, puff your chest up. 
Let look back and breathe through your chest. Breathe into your lungs. Now slowly let's come out of this. Hug your knees into your chest. Let's come to the center. Now shift forward and back. Transition one more time through our vinyasa. Cross your shins. Move forward. Step or hug back. Chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Awesome. Now let's hop to the center. Sit down onto your mat. Find your cross legged position. Let's do a little twist before we close the practice. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, twist to the side. Look back. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to your left side. Inhale, back to center. Now from here, we're going to move to our Shavasana. Final pose for today. So find your, make yourself real comfortable if you want to put your socks on. Your shirt on, just relax to the floor, relax your hands, take a nice deep breath through the nose, exhale through the mouth, releasing all tension from the body and just relax. No more jai. Just your normal breathing. Becoming calm, becoming heavy and fully relaxed. Relaxing your forehead, your head, all the muscles on your face, your cheeks, your jaw, your ears, skin on your head. Relax your neck, shoulders. Relaxing the muscles in your belly, in your spine. Relaxing your hips, your thighs, your pelvis. All of your legs, your feet, your toes. And relaxing your hands. Try to remain here in your mind, remaining in the present moment. And slowly start moving your toes, your fingers. Take a deep breath. As you inhale, stretch your hands over your head. Exhale, hug your knees, come on to your right side. 
Now from here, find your seated position very slowly, moving gently. Keep your spine straight, eyes closed. Place your hands in prayer over your heart, expressing gratitude for this practice and time for yourself. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you a great rest of your day and I'll see you again.